I am Mills Godden, inviting you to think with me for a few moments about the most precious right a free man has, the right of a free choice. We as Americans have that right, and on Tuesday we must exercise that right if we as Virginians are to keep faith with an ideal, an ideal born within this commonwealth more than three centuries ago. Our past made glorious in the sacrifices of our forefathers, our present calling as never before for faith in ourselves. They both plead for courageous men and women to speak out. Our future demands it, if the future is truly to belong to us. We have a choice on Tuesday, the clearest choice in a half a century. We either can embark upon a dangerous journey on uncharted seas of the radical left, or we can steer toward a fixed star, the greatest good for the greatest number, with sound, stable, and progressive government for all. We can restore confidence in our free government, the greatest single institution that we have given to mankind. In these times of crisis, leadership, integrity, and confidence are more important than ever before. Our people are willing to sacrifice for our children, deserve leadership they can trust. Times and conditions may change, but proven values never do. We've got to safeguard our individual rights. No man should have to pay his wages in tribute to far away union bosses in order to hold his job. And every man should have the guaranteed right to protect his family and home against picketing and unlawful intrusion. We must live in a society of safety, not of fear in the streets. Together we can work to restore our voice in both local government and in our schools. We want quality education for all our children and we will work for them to have it in their own neighborhoods. We must offer opportunity to all, special privilege to none. We must provide for our sick, our deserving elderly, but with jobs for all, we have no place for the able-bodied frauds who, refusing to work, want to live on your taxes and mine. We must continue to build a balanced economy, under a fair tax system without new or additional taxes that provides jobs for our young people while respecting our environment. But above all, we must maintain our heritage that has made Virginia, the proud name that gave us a nation, a model of integrity in public affairs, high principle, not the moods of the moment, must be that fixed star. That is what our nation deserves for its 200th birthday, three years from now. There is no place in this majestic event for those who, pretending to lead, invite outside interests to sit in our high councils, who, reading the polls, change their beliefs to accommodate the whims of the day. I have spoken these views, these convictions, and countless appearances in every city and county of this state I love. I have visited you in your home communities and you have given me renewed faith, a new inspiration in your determination to preserve good government. I now leave you with the fervent hope and prayer that on this Tuesday, you make a choice. I ask only that this choice this year be for an ideal, for a state, not just for one man, but for Virginia. Elect Governor Godwin. There's more to be done.